Morning, guys. Hey, um, I'm putting out a couple messages this morning. Um, there's a reason why I titled this one because I'm a watchman, the way I titled it. But there's not a normal here, guys. We're not going back to normal. Never was. I said, no more Captain Crunch Christianity. Where that's coming from is, you know, I used to like Captain Crunch. It used to be my favorite cereal. Now, man, that sugar does me in. Not good for me. But, smelled good, looked good, bright, shiny, packaged. Sometimes you get a toy. But it had no nutritional value. It's actually bad for you. So, I know what, but there's a reason why I'm getting to, I'm going to get to the point here. Well, there's several points, but just hear me out, guys. The importance of it is right now is that we're listening to Jesus. God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. Who's your source? Okay. The reason why there's so much fear in all this coronavirus mess, I'm not mocking it, knocking it. There's some very serious stuff. I get it. I understand that. And, you know, there's a lot of hurt. I'm not. The people have lost loved ones, parents, children. So I wouldn't firefighter that you know they're they're i think it was their daughter it's like man it's kind of it is sad very sad it's heartbreaking <laughs> but we're all going to succumb to something guys this physical body is going to succumb to something so i'm not diminishing that at all the, the really true pain those people have lost a child that's you know that's 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 hard i'm praying for Honestly, really praying for them. But that's my whole point. Everybody's afraid. But why are they so afraid? The world is so afraid. Because they're afraid of dying in their sin, guys. Bottom line, I'm just going to be, you know, I'm not shooting straight from the hip. I'm coming out. The world told us, go hide in the closet. What happened to Elijah? Go hide in the cave. Jezebel's gonna kill you. Go hide out. And now, you know, the church did the same thing. We rolled over and played dead at night. Most of it wasn't a church. church. It wasn't the body of Christ anyhow. It was just a play church. Honestly, that's where the Captain Crunch Christianity comes in. Sorry. Sing a song, get a bigger band. So much stuff there, guys. It's not one from God. You know why? Why most of my have a stage and a step steps up. And, you know, because it's all this better than mentality. It's time to get back to the. You know, it's time to arm ourselves with the sword of the spirit, which is the Lord. Not grab your AR-15 and 300 bullets. Now, where's that gonna get you? Go ask David Koresh, okay? That's just kind of almost the opposite of the pendulum, that stupidity, because there's only one true constant here, guys, and that's the stone that the builders rejected. It's God's plan, which was Jesus, his son. There's no other way. There's no other name given under the sun. If there is really good news, guys, there's a ton of good news out there. The gospel is good news. Isaiah, which is another message I'm about to put out, but in Isaiah 12, it says, with joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Those living waters. That constant. But you're not, I put this out there, guys. You're not going to get this but through prayer, fasting, and dedication. Not through me, not through a YouTube channel, not through another preacher. That's why, you know, this is a little brutal, maybe. Brutal is the right word for it. Probably not. Get your butt up. Five in the morning. Let's get the word out there. It's time to pray. 
You're going to get it in your secret place, in your prayer closet. I poke, I poke, I poke my hand out and look at my, my address 3108 in my street. Yours is different. But you know what? Wherever two or more gather together in my name. So God sees it. We need, to, we need to weep between the porch and the altar and repent of our sins as a nation and as a world and get it right with God. He wants to renew our mind, guys. We're looking at the storm instead of who created the storm, who holds the storm in their hands, who can stop the storm if he wants to. That whole story about the boat, we so easily forget blessings of God. I get it. A lot of people are like, man, don't so preach, don't say no, that, that, that's the good news, that blah, 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 da, 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 da. Okay, well, great, awesome. When you stick your head in the sand, anybody can come by and kick you in the butt. And you don't even know who it is, what demon it was. We're in this whack-a-mole, unreal, Shut down, stay at home. Look at all the dictators that popped up, guys. All across from judges, city judges, mayors, the governors to... And then the church is like, oh, okay, well, we just got a little pile of money. We're just going to, you know, lay in wait and they're going to reopen and everything's going to go back to normal. I can just sing, sing a song and rebuild my band and... No. It ain't happening, guys. I didn't do what God did. Oh, yeah, you can try it. Ain't gonna work this time. It's Joel's army coming forth. Guys, time to get back to the Bible. That sword. Pick up your sword. We don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness and power in the high places. It's not going to be one in the natural, guys. It's going to be one in the spiritual. That constant. This is my, one of my messages to the church, actually, too. But out of Matthew 20, read that. Read Matthew 22 about the marriage supper of the Lamb. He's calling us all to the wedding. It's one of the messages I got out. That I'm getting out. Are you coming? No, they took it lightly. They sent his servants. They treated him bad, beat him up, and then they killed him. Well, look what the king did, guys. You read it for yourself. It's in Matthew 22. 22. Not necessarily good news, but the gospel is always good news. Jesus is always good news. The well of salvation is grace, mercy, and truth is good news. But are we listening? what the Spirit has to say to the church? Are we listening to what the politicians are saying and what Trump's going to do? I'm not a Trump hater, guys. I voted for the guy. But I'm praying for the guy. But my trust isn't in the government. It's a trap, honestly. All this stimulus and all this other stuff is a trap. To get us to depend on the government. Look where it's got us. They said close everything, but you can keep open a bar and an abortion clinic. But you can't worship God. The reality of it is, though, guys, God shut it down. Because he wants to redirect us because it's Joel's army. Because they weren't listening, took it lightly. Then he sent them out on the highways and hedges to compel his people to come in. After he took care of business. Read it, guys. Read it and weep between the porch and the altar. No more. No more of this Captain Crunch Christianity, these games. It's not, you know, we're not going to be able to hoodwink God on this one, guys. Oh, yeah, we think we slapped a label on the dollar bill on God we trust, and we think we're this godly nation. Guys, that dollar bill is going to have the same value as your toilet paper one day. I get it, you know. He's given me cities and places to go, and I gotta have a car, a car costs money. I got gas, that costs money. I get it. I'm not naive, I'm not saying that to be naive, but 
I'm saying our trust needs to be in him, not in the not in the not in the mammon. And that's where we were at. It was all so people could build this little their little empire. Coming down, guys. Because God wants to rebuild. Repair the reach. Restore us back to him. And with this, guys, it is good news. It's about his love. For God so loved the world. Okay, well, love. Liberty. Jesus gave his life. That was God's plan, his life. So that we could overcome, be victorious for the rest of eternity. He wants us back. And the enemy, one of the one, very first thing he did in the Garden of Eden, he lied. Did God really say that? You're not going to get it from me, guys. You're not going to get it. You're going to get it in prayer, the neology. Let's get up at 5 in the morning or pray all day. Or maybe you pray at 12 o'clock at night or 3 in the morning. You know, I've been up, get up at 4 now. And I was like, God, you told me to get up for 5 a.m. prayer. And now it's 4, 3 or 4. He said, prepare for the battle. So there's a, there's a war going on, guys. And it's time to just get this taken care of. And that, that wrestle this devil to the ground. And we're not going to wrestle him to the ground by barking about all the policies and dictatorships and garbage. And I, I, I am because I'm a, a watchman and it's a warning. Look out, there's a storm coming. But, my, but the direction is to get to Jesus, to God, get to the Holy Ghost, get to his word. Listen to what the Spirit's saying to the church. Encourage each other, dreams, visions prayer uplift each other that's the good news and this fear like I said how are we going to be the light to this world guys if our batteries are dead and our light bulbs are burned out I'm a flashlight gave one to my grandkids and turned on the light in the living room and got all mad but we got this little area where we keep our towels and stuff, a linen closet, and the bottom we used to keep a hamper we don't anymore, but, so it's like a little fort to mine. You can go in there and it's dark and it has a blast. The darker it is, the brighter that light is. You turn on another light, distraction, if it's not the light of Christ. Are we trusting in him or are we trusting in the arm of the flesh and the government? try to bail us out and then that the two thousand dollar stimulus and this stimulus man even the word stimulus kind of sounds fleshly to me i don't need stimulation i don't need a check from the government my trust is in him it's a trap guys and it's not a good trap and that's my warning. That's why I put that out there. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger, Will Robinson. No more of this lukewarm Christianity, you know. It, it ain't going to fly anymore, guys. There isn't a normal in this. We're not going back. There never was a normal. We just made this surreal stuff that we claimed was, that we claimed was God. People didn't even use the word God. They barely used the word Jesus a little bit. Proofs in the pudding, but more than they mostly doing. It was all about the money and the power. No different than the world. That's why the church did. That's why, you know, where is this supposed powerhouses today? Hiding. Take their little bit of money and stack it up and to regroup and to redo. Same thing. I watched it on Instagram about six months ago. I saw this, you know, these churches and they were empty buildings, empty promises. You saw one on Instagram this morning. A pastor and his wife, and that was it. The church was empty. Why? 
Because that's why you do what you do. God sees your intent of your heart. We're not going to be able to hoodwink them this time, guys. It's not, it's not, it's not surreal, fun and games and, you know, talk is cheap. It really is. Where's your source coming from? Well, I try to encourage people on the, you know, I use the Facebook and the other stuff to try to encourage people because it's like, man, people are starting to come out of their shell a little bit. If you encourage them and if you lift them up and help them, that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to help the body, but we're not supposed to be helping ourselves. It's not bleed the sheep, it's feed the sheep. I'm sorry, guys. That ain't gonna, that's not gonna fly anymore. You're not gonna get. You're, you're not, not gonna get this. Let me end with this, with the sword of the spirit, because it was a year ago, six, eight months ago. That's why I put this out. Isaiah twenty-seven and one. A young man worked at a restaurant. The car broke down. He just. What did he do? Went and asked for extra hours so he could make more money so he could fix his car. But it was like, man, God, all these, you know, good people. Christian people and it's you know it seemed like divorces lost jobs uh, health just all these things were going on it's like man how's the enemy coming against the body of Christ in the natural so much he spoke to me he said because he can't win the spirit he said go to Isaiah 27 1 I'm in prayer guys I don't you know what Isaiah 27 1 even said I think I'll run and get my Bible The spirit of the Lord is going to lift up a sword and cut the head off that serpent that twisted. Because that's what's happening in this world. It's got twisted up over a, over a bug. One of the news media channels, I'm going to end with this. 50,000 deaths. Let's just kind of round it off. I'm not, like I said, I'm not mocking and discounting the hurt and the pain and the suffering that people have gone through and are still in. And I have a friend that just came through it and they still in the midst of a storm with this hell stuff. <clears throat> but the bottom caption was that three million people died worldwide. It's like, you know, they don't even, it doesn't even match up. It's like, man, just sheer stupidity, guys. Almost, that's the part that we don't like. It's not the pain and suffering and the reality that people really are dying and hurting. It's the, just the madness that it's got twisted off. Trying to make us think that it's real. It's not. The only real and constant thing in this is Jesus. Ah, Jesus, the Holy Ghost is the Word. And you're not going to get it sitting in a building listening to somebody else. You're going to get it listening to Him. in your secret place maybe gather together I'm not saying don't gather that's not what I'm saying it's time to really really you know one preacher that I know well, I don't know if he's a preacher but minister on the streets hitting the streets hard about his father's business he said how are we going to go back to this church when we see the disparity that's going on we're not we're not supposed to it's not business as usual. It's not normal. It's not it's turn. It's turn, all right? Turn back to God. Turn back to the Bible. Turn back to the prayer. Weep between the porch and the altar. Because this is a very significant time. Messy seriousness. I to do is look around. But that's not my point. It is, but it isn't because it's got to be really on your mind. Because if you look around, it'll be like, man, almost make you want to give up. It's not shelter in place, stay at home. How am I going to be the light of the world if I'm stuck in a house? And people are going crazy over it. It's a trap, guys. To usher in the mark of the beast. 
Sorry to tell you this, but we kind of already did capitulate, roll over, play dead. Did whatever people, whatever the government told us to do. A bunch of dictators and ungodly rule, rulers of men. I'm sorry. Vote them out, but not vote them out, pray them out. There's just, man, there's some seriousness here, guys. It's time to take the word of God seriously. Turn back to the Bible. So anyhow, that's kind of, you know, I'm going to put out, you know, look look at my other message. And that, that one is going to be out of Isaiah 20, Isaiah 12 and Psalms 12. But that's coming up. That's going to be the next one. The good news of the gospel, the good news of God was his son. Let me end with this. That's your value, guys. I go to 7-Eleven or whatever. Now you can't go without a mask, but crazy, stupid. But go there and two ninety nine on the sandwich or whatever. That's I pay that. That's the price. Buy my house. That's the price because whatever the houses are selling for in the market, they go up and they go down. Your car. You know, Kelly Blue Book or whatever, you know, and sometimes you pay too much, sometimes you get a good deal. Somebody else put a value on it. God, his value to mankind was his son, the most precious, the best he had. His life, his blood, so that you could have life eternal. He's calling us home, guys. But we got to be listening. And we're not. Unless if we're in prayer, deep in prayer, crying, weeping between the porch and the altar. That's why that five in the morning prayer is so important, guys. My warning is to get you to redirect it. It's not to. Because that's scriptural, too. It's not fear based, you know. Because even the Bible says that the fearful and unbelieving will enter in. God doesn't want a bunch of scared chicken. He doesn't want to stay in at home hiding. It's time to be about our father's business. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.